Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a big loader. It's a 966H. This is a five and a half to a six yard machine. Um, we're gonna talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Uh, give you an idea how big this tire is. I'm 6'1", so this is a pretty good sized tire. If you buy this tractor from me or any of the others that, that I have for sale, we got skid steers, dozers, uh, some loaders, some excavators. Uh, we got a couple of backhoes in the shop there. We got that uh, little Cat IT12. We got this SK330 Cabelco, that Hitachi. Anyway, the point being is uh, we got another 966 like this one. If uh, you buy this tractor or any of the others that I have for sale, you're gonna be dealing with my right-hand man. This guy by running the camera, his name is Pro Provencio. Um, the serial number of this loader is C-A-T, <coughs> excuse me. 0966 H like Henry, L like Linda, A like Apple, 6D0120. <coughs> I'm going to leave that last digit blank. Uh, price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, you know what I'm wondering, Pro? All right, sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulty. Uh, new Price on a new machine like this these days is about a half million dollars. Uh, this machine weighs uh, 52,254 pounds. The widest point on this machine is that bucket right there, but you can take the bucket off. That bucket is 10 foot 7 wide. Uh, not much better on these tires here. It's still a permit load, but it's uh, 10 foot without the bucket. Highest point is the top of that cab at 12 feet. Transportation link from the end of this bumper to the front end of that bucket if you have the bucket on it the forks are a little bit longer but uh, it's 30 feet comparable machines are like a cat I mean a John Deere 744H or a Volvo L150E as far as the history of this particular machine goes, this machine, like almost all the machine we, machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. You say, well, what's the significance of that? Well, this machine has never been in a corrosive environment. The company that we bought this machine from is one of the largest uh, um, contractors in the United States, if not the world. Um, and this machine was purchased and used in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So we're, we're 300 miles from the ocean and we're far enough south, south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. You'll see that the, you know, where the paint's been scraped off and the rainwater's gotten to it. You know, you'll see some, uh, you'll see some surface rust there, but this machine in no way, shape, or form is rust pervasive. <clears throat> um, the guy that uh, runs the maintenance program for this, uh, for this company is a very conscientious guy. He's been with them for 30 years and uh, he runs a maintenance program like, he's got one of the best maintenance programs I've, I've ever seen. We've been happy with all the machines that we purchased from these guys and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspect it. And then uh, I have two guys that go out and inspect it and if uh, they say it's okay, then I send Pro Provencio out to go inspect it. And if he says everything's okay, then I personally go out and inspect it if the money's right. So, um, Anyway, these machines are like four and five times vetted before we, we purchase them. So we make sure that they're in good working order before we buy them. As far as options go, this machine has got a coupler and it's got a set of forks over there. We'll, we'll get into those forks here in a minute. There's your coupler right there. 
Uh, the machine is uh, inherently four-wheel drive. Most loaders are. Uh, come back here. You can see that this uh, this fan right here is hydraulic. I mean, it's a hydraulic fan. So you say, well, what's the significance of that? Well, the significance of that is that all of your show them back in here, Paul. I guess can we open that? We don't have the key. Your, your coolers are right here, your oil cooler, your transmission cooler, your water cooler, all your coolers are back in here. And uh, we've got this hood open. So you can, uh, ah, shit. Well, anyway, you can see this thing's got hinges back here. So basically you can get to all four sides of your coolers. These coolers kind of swing out and you can clean them off really good. And they're, they're away from the heat of the engine. So you can get, you can get a power washer in there to really clean that, uh, those, uh, those uh, coolers. That's a big deal. Um, it's got a key battery disconnect right here. So if the machine's gonna be sitting for any length of time, you can turn it off. It's also got a, uh, you look right there, that's a, uh, that opens and closes the, uh, the hood. The hood. And uh, there's a little fuse, fuse panel. And this is also a, uh, this right here is more of a um, master kill, isn't it? Yeah, master kill. Uh, it's got an enclosed cab, all the glass is in it, AC blows nice and cold, the heater works. Um, is there a 12 volt outlet in the cab? Yes. There is a 12 volt outlet in the cab so you can plug in your iPhone or whatever. This engine right here is a, uh, this is a Cat 2236. Um, it's a turbocharged six-cylinder engine. It's a 286 gross horsepower engine or a uh, 262 net horsepower engine. That engine is in excellent shape. There's no kind of blow by it. There's no kind of compression problems. I mean, it's a good, really good, strong engine. All the lights work also. Oh, all the lights work on this tractor as well. Um, all of the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be. This ma machine is mechanically sound. There is not a single cylinder that is leaking, not even just a little bit. I mean, they are all dry as a bone. The guy that we bought this from, I mean, he is impeccable. All those cylinders, there is not one drop of oil coming out of anything. The transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Uh, top speed on this lawyer, loader is uh, 23.2 miles an hour, forward and reverse. These tires, as you can see, are about 85, 90%. They're in really good shape. There's no cuts on them at all. These are 26.5 R25s. They all match. They're all identical. Um, as far as things wrong with this tractor, there's a couple of little cracks up there. We'll get pictures of them. I mean, there's nothing major. It doesn't obstruct the uh, vision of the uh, of the operator at all. Uh, the side view mirrors are missing. We have them ordered, but they haven't come in yet. So neither one of those side mirrors are working. I mean, are uh, on it. Uh, 
Uh, I think we've ordered them. Did we order them? Yes, we did. We ordered the side mirrors, so when they come in, we'll put those on. Um, other than that, what do you think, bro? What's uh, what's your verdict on this tractor? Very powerful. Runs good. Starts every time. AC works excellent. My favorite part of this loader. Bro, uh, bro ran a loader for a number of years, so uh, and he's one of the guys that uh, he's also a really good mechanic. So he uh, he's one of the guys that goes out and. Uh, Actually, he is the guy that goes out and gives me the final word as to whether or not these machines are worth buying. And uh, he gave this and uh, some other machines that uh, we bought from these guys a, a clean bill of health, which like I say, oh, there's no cracks or welds or any kind of problem that we can see on these machines. And the quick coupler on it doesn't hesitate at all. It works really well. I guess that's about it we're gonna run the machine in the next clip okay uh, we'll get a quick walk around here here's your parking lights your ignition switch um, all your gauges work go ahead and turn that key on bro all the gauges work uh, that's your coupler right there is that what you're saying bro? yes that's a coupler this is the float yeah that's your float right there and that, that this is also a float, but that, that's your... Actually, bro, I think that's for your, uh, that's a parallel lift. Yeah, the parallel lift, I'm sorry, that's, that's your, float. your float. That's yeah. what I meant to say, I'm sorry. And then there's your transmission gear select. The AC on this loader, it is hotter than hell. It's 100 degrees outside right now, but it's nice and cool in this cab, even with these doors open. So, uh, yeah. This is how you lift the hood there. Master's gotta be on. This is a new, these are all new uh, cutting edges right here and end vents and uh, they're in really good shape up here so that's fine. Go ahead and disconnect your, uh, your forks bro. I'm just going to show that the coupler is working fine. There it is. I'm going to show him connecting to these forks. Again, these forks are eight foot long. Flip it around first. 